As an inherent fact, the war between England and France occurred and lasted for seven years from 1756 to 1763, and finally England could expel France from India. According to the Peace Treaty of Paris in 1763, France could only maintain its control over five small cities along the coastline. The reason why the British could defeat the French in their fight for India was that the former had an overwhelming economy, strong fleets of ships in the sea, and its government's keenness on the domination of Asian colonies. Meanwhile, the internal affairs of India were very complicated. There were conflicts and feuds among the royal kingdoms. The Mughal dynasty was in the process of a steep decline. This provided a chance for Western powers to find a way to enter and occupy India. On the 1st of September 1858, 14 warships of the joint French and Spanish armies attacked Sancha Peninsula, Da Nang. Later on, the French attacked and occupied Zadig Citadel along with other regions in the north of Vietnam. Since then, the Vietnamese people suffered under the French colonial yoke for nearly a century. During the stop-and-go struggle against the French colonial invaders, from 1858 to 1883, King Tuduk time and again ordered his army to cease fire and negotiated one peace treaty after another, conceding one demand after another, till the time the country was completely occupied. Many Vietnamese patriots and scholars stood up to struggle against France, even though they were oppressed very brutally when arrested by the French colonialists. There is a natural rule that where there is oppression, there is struggle. The history of India in the first half of the 19th century uninterruptedly witnessed insurrections of peasants, tribes, and the declining feudal caste against the colonialists, like Ram Mohan Roy, an aristocrat in Bengal. He tirelessly struggled for the freedom and human rights. Like Tantia Tupi, the excellent leader of the movement of the freedom forces, like the famous resistance in Jansi, under the brave and staunch leadership of Queen Lakshmi Bai. She is considered a national heroine by the Indian people forever. The Communist Party of India came into existence on the 30th of December 1925 at Kanpur. The foundation of the Communist Party of India marked a significant turning point, contributing leadership for the struggle to overcome the loss through unrest in this period and launching a new wave of struggle by workers and farmers in the phase of 1924-1928. In 1911, a young man with the name Nguyen Tất Thành decided to go abroad to find a way for liberation of the Vietnamese people. Traveling through over nearly 30 countries, Nguyen Tất Thành realized that the slaves were oppressed and maltreated severely everywhere for colonialism is greedy and brutal. After the World War I, Nguyễn Tất Thành returned to Paris and bore the name of Nguyễn Ái Quốc in 1919 at a Versailles conference. It was the first time that Nguyễn Ái Quốc proposed a claim asking for the right of self-determination for the Vietnamese people. In 1922, Nguyễn Ái Quốc launched the newspaper Le Paria as an editor. With the reason that the revolution in a colony is part of the proletariat revolution, Nguyễn Ái Quốc wrote many articles about issues in colonies which were published in L'Humanité, Le Paria, condemning the wicked and brutal colonial policy of the French colonialists in Vietnam. On the 19th of August 1945, under the leadership of the Communist Party and President Ho Chi Minh, the Vietnamese people stood up to carry out the August General Offensive and gained glorious victory. On the 2nd of September 1945, at the Baden Square, on behalf of the provisional government, President Ho Chi Minh announced the Declaration of Independence to found the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Vietnam, 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 Vietn